Okay, so this is really loud, annoying music, but hi, <laughs> welcome. Um, but uh, what I have discovered when I pulled up King's Quest II is that it automatically goes into the storyline and you can't just pause it and start going. So I needed to start it from the beginning so you guys could see the beginning. Um, and now I haven't even read what happened, but I've read it several times. Anyway, but he searched high and low and something happened. Hang on, you know what? I haven't fully read it. So we're gonna go back. I'm gonna see if I can get it to restart. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, let's see if this happens. Hmm, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I tried to start it twice. That's my fault. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time so we can actually see the beginning of this. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it doesn't let me pause that one. And and it might, and I might just not know how to do it, but because I don't use DOS box. Oh no, it's having an error. Let's try one more time. I hope I don't have to restart. What? Okay. See? Okay. One more time. <laughs> I want to play King's Quest tonight. Oh, and the hair, by the way, is, um, so I just finished my costume, all the stuff that I needed to do for this Saturday for Jekyll Con. I'm really excited. And so I had to get the wig and make, where's the Brett? There's the Brett. And, um, so I got it all done. I think, I think I'm ready to go. All right. Third time's a charm. I think we've got this. Hang on a minute. Yay. Okay. Now I can read it from the beginning and see what happens because we ended with King's Quest one and he became the king. And I'm assuming this picks up right where we left off, right? <clears throat> okay. So Sir Graham is now king of Daventry. Under his wise rule, Daventry is prosperous. He is loved by his people. We've never seen any of them. He kind of just took over. Unfortunately, there is a problem. King Graham needs a queen for companionship. Of course he does. And to provide an heir to the throne. Yep, because that's what she's good for. Making babies. All right, he searched high and low for the right maiden, but he remains alone. Oh, it's so sad. <clears throat> so, and this is where he walks down off the throne and walks and goes to find her. So I worked a little bit with a map. An idea comes to him. He goes to the magic mirror and looks into its depths. I'm guessing he's going to see his true love. Maybe? No, he sees a vision of a quartz tower. To reach it, he must pass through a magic door in the nearby land of Kolima. <clears throat> the scene then changes to show a beautiful girl locked within the tower. Graham now knows what to do. He's going to leave. Go find her. Nope, he's going to sit back on the throne. Oh, no, he's got to take off his crown and put on his little traveling hat because, you know, you can't travel with a crown. People might try to steal it and put on your traveling hat. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> and we see him ah on the beach. All right, <clears throat> so let's go. Let me, I, I did a little bit of preliminary exploration, but I don't know anything about this game. I may remember things as I go on, but pff, I don't know what to do. So feel free to help me out. I mean, don't give me a walkthrough or anything, but if I look really dumb, um, then feel free. Ha ha. All right, so. Uh-oh, hang on. Why is it not going? Oh, I know why. That's right. I've got to pull up DOS box. There we go. No, you weren't supposed to restart. No, no, no. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, anyway, so that was my whole wig thing. By the time I got all of this on, I was like, nope. Oh, okay, so that looks like a hole. I'm really good at falling in holes. It happens a lot. Nope, nope. Okay. Look in hole. No? Let me see if I fall into it. 
Oh, it won't even let me fall into it. Okay, so it's not even really just a hole. It's just decoration. Do, 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 do. Okay, so where am I? That is the edge, I think, of, I think the house is over here. Yay, hi little house. Oh, you know what? I need to go around this way. Nope. Arrow keys are important. So the first time I went through King's Quest 1, I did not get all the way through it. Um, but I learned enough to be able to go completely through from beginning to end the second time. So this is my first time through King's Quest 2. I did a little tiny bit of exploration and got a bit of a map worked out, but I didn't really do much. So, um, cause I didn't have a lot of time. So most of this is completely new to me. So I doubt I'll get through it tonight, but Hey, I might get enough information to get through it from beginning to end next time. Open mailbox. Lo and behold, when you open the mailbox, you see a basket of goodies. Get, oops, get, come on. Why is it letting me type? Oh, there I go. Get goodies. Okay. Let's go in the house. Hang on, let me write down goodies. And that is done. Let's go see in the house. Oh, oops, that's like a little... <laughs> what? Oh, jeez. There we go. Open. Oh, come on. Open door. Oh dear, a wolf in grandma's clothing. Nope, I need it out, 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 out. Okay. Let's see if I go back in if she's gone. Might as well since we're early on in the game. Because that worked with the witch. To like leave and come back in the last game. Open door. Oh, is that the wolf? Or is that grandma? What? Say hello? <laughs> Grandma's very weak. Okay, this makes no sense. So there was a wolf there, but now I left and came back and grandma's there? Grandma is very weak. Her voice wavers as she says, Good day, kind sir. I would like to offer you a cup of tea, but as you can see, I am ailing. This is not logical, people. Um, okay. Open drawers. Maybe we can find tea for her. Look at house. This is the home of Grandma. It's comfortably furnished. Frilly curtains cover the windows. Flowers are in vases. Grandma is lying on a brass bed in a cloud of pillows and coverlets. Hmm. Get flowers? Oh, I can't get the flowers. Okay. Maybe I need to get her tea. Look at kitchen. Look at table. Okay. Maybe lift rug. Hi. Oh, thank you, Plaster Dragon. Thank you. I actually didn't style it. Um, this wig was in bad shape, and I... And not great with curl styling. That is not one of my talents. So my mama helped me with the curl styling. She did a great job. So um, 
And, and I had kind of an insane day and I wasn't sure quite if I was gonna be able to save this wig or not. And she saved it for me and I made this tonight. Wait, where is it? This side. Yeah, it's got like a bunch of little feathers and a rose and everything and it clips in. So I made that, so I'm excited. I made this. Actually, I didn't make the beading. The beading was like that and then I attached all this. But, but yay. Oh, Plaster Dragon, you're here. Okay, answer to your question. That, he, 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 is 12 ounces. So if that's what you need to know, you need to know how big the mugs were. That's 12 ounces of beer. I will tell her that you are impressed. All right. Um, well, oh, maybe I can lift the rug. Oh, whoops. No, I'm typing in chat and not on the actual game. Lift rug. Let's see if there's something hidden under there. I can't lift the rug. I'm sure I can lift the rug. Come on. All right. Well, I guess there's nothing to do at Grandma's house right now. Thank you, Scribe. Honestly, by the time I got the wig on and the brat and everything else and realized I needed to set this up, number one, I was worried that I was going to be late. And number two, I figured, eh, if I went to this much trouble, might as well wear it, right? Okay, whoops. Okay, I don't want to get too far without figuring out where I'm going. Okay, so I've got a goodie basket. Let's... I guess let's go south and see what we have there. I seem to remember there was a lake somewhere. Oh, there's the lake. Hello, lake. Well, thanks for checking in, Scribe. You know, I keep meaning to put my sister's music up since I have permission for that, and I just keep forgetting. There's no music until, like, you know, fairies enter and have really loud, annoying music that hurts the ear. I know, honestly... Oh, wait, where am I? Shoot. Hello? Where are you, Sir Graham? There you are. Um, I don't even know where I am now. Shoot, where's my that? I think, I think I went left a little bit. That's okay. I'll keep my map going. Um, <coughs> I haven't put everything together yet. That's one of my projects for tonight or tomorrow or something is to put everything together. What is that? Hello. And to see um, how it all looks. But actually here, these are my silk covers for my... Um, uh, for this one, for the, the steampunk, they're really, really pretty. That's like a curtain fabric, see? Yay. And then these are the little, um, you can't see them, but these are the little, like, lacy things that go around the silk covers. There's two of them together like that. But um, they go around the top of the silk covers. And this lace, oh my gosh, it was so expensive, but it was so pretty and it was so perfect for them. This lace was 20 bucks a yard, and a yard isn't very much. Like, it's, where was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was 20 bucks a yard. It was so expensive. This is insane. But it gave such a nice look because it's got this kind of gold look to it, and it matched with this lace here. Um, and they needed something extra, so. But yeah, so that's, those are the silk covers. And then I have a corset with steampunky accessories and stuff. It's really pretty. And then this gorgeous skirt that um, was like a thrift store find, but uh, it tucks up. It's kind of a little, this is almost a little steampunk meets Western, like, it's a little, it's like a Victorian Western saloon girl-esque kind of look. I don't know. It's, it's different, but it's fun. I like it. No, a yard isn't very much. We were talking like 36 inches. And 36 inches, I mean, just one of these uh, little lace things to go around my, kind of underneath my knee, but it's got to go over the fabric. So just one of these, gosh, is about 16 inches or so. Basically the entire, the entire uh, yard went to two still cover accessory things like 20 bucks right there. Although I did have a 20% off discount coupon thing. So that helped, but 
certain things are super expensive. And this, oh my gosh, I found this at a discount. It was like 60% off. So it would have been really expensive, but it wasn't. And I was so excited because it was so pretty. Um, yeah, it's almost like a Southern Belle steampunk. I like it. It's fun. Um, yeah, well, yeah, not Southern Belle, like, but like a Southern Wild West. Um, yeah, like a saloon girl kind of thing. It's, it's neat. A least fun widget for your cosplay streams. I know, totally. Um, yeah, it's okay. Oh, you know, I got distracted. So look at tree, I guess. There's a steak leaning against the tree. I'll get the steak. Steak. Where is that? Okay, there is a steak right there. Thank you. All right, let's go. You know what? Let, let me fill out the rest of that map because I've been here. I've been there, there. Let me go to the left and up and kind of fill out this map. A jar image with lace wrapped around it. Sure. Haven't learned how to make my own custom widgets yet, but that's okay. Oh, what's that? Look at beach. A pretty clamshell. Get clamshell. Oh, okay. I'll get closer. Jeez. There we go. Get Clam shell. You see that there was a sparkling sapphire and diamond bracelet underneath it. Yay, well, I'll get that too. Get bracelet. Uh, look at bracelet. The bracelet looks like it would fit a small wrist. It is a circlet of diamonds surrounded by beautifully blue sapphires. Maybe I'll give this to the girl I'm in love with that I've never even met. I should do that. Okay. All right, let's go north. Hmm. Do, do, do. I wonder if I can get through here. See, I don't know if I can swim in this game because in the other game, sometimes I could swim and sometimes I couldn't. Okay, I guess, nope, swim. Ooh, I can swim, look at that. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I could swim and I could dive in a well, but then other times I just dighted. Everyone gives her present. Thanks. Yep. Uh huh. Whatever. Give it to Suki. <sighs> Suki is my D and D character on Tuesday nights over the Plaster Dragon. And yes, she has gotten some presents. I never asked for them. She has gotten some presents. Hey, okay. I was there. I was there. I was there. Um. Well, let's. Go. I guess let's go east. I mean, that's gonna get me back to that house, but but I can keep exploring past that house. You know what? Let's go. Let's explore that place down here. I don't know. I'm assuming that this one circles around like the other one did. Or if I go north, it gets me south. Ooh, cave. Spooky cave. Um... Here. Somehow I don't think this is going to turn out well. But we'll go in the cave anyway. Because I haven't made it very far. There's not a lot to do. Ooh, what is that? Look at cave. 
You look around this dreary place, fear grips you as you notice human skulls lining the wall. A cauldron with a bubbling brew fills the cave with a putrid aroma. You see a nightingale in a gilded cage. Let's get that cage. You pick up the gilded bird cage with the nightingale in it. The little bird starts singing prettily. A moment later, it stops. Um, let's get out of this cave. So I'm guessing whoever owns that bird is coming back and it doesn't look like a nice person. Um, oops, well, I guess I'll you know what, let's cross by this house. No, let's go up, because I want to see what's up there. Nothing. Okay, and, ooh, pretty, hi. Let's go see what's up. You know what, I should probably save. I haven't saved yet. Save game. So what do I have? I have goodies, bracelet. Let me have the shell, I won't count that right now. Steak, bird. All right. No, I just saved, I did, but you couldn't see it because there's a delay. But it's almost going to be like, I'm reading your mind. Open door. Or you're reading my mind. Do, do, do. Okay, open door. Yay. Come on. No, oh, open door. All right, you know what? Last time I put my little extra places. Thank you. I put my little extra places on the back of my paper. See, I've got my like wrap that I started making. And then on the back, I'm gonna go, this is my little tree area. There's a room and then there's a ladder. I think that's what I love so much about these games is I love the map making components until it's irritating. Oh my gosh, um, what was it in Zork? There was like a maze, um, there was a, and you can't see any of it because it's all text-based adventure. So there's this this labyrinth you go into, and and there's places you go up and down, and and it's just it's it's a nightmare to try to make a map of. It's so awful. <clears throat> okay, we're down the ladder. You know what? Um, ba, 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 ba. But these ones were super simple to make maps of. Generally, there's another room at the bottom. We can go up to the right. Oh no, can we get out? The dwarf is home, the dwarf is home. But in these games, a lot of times if you leave and you come back, all of a sudden they're not home. So we'll find out. Logic was not <laughs> always in place. Yay, see, he's gone. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. I don't know why he would see me come into his house and then he would just leave. This just seems like a poor choice on his part. Oh, there's a hat over there. I wonder if I need that hat. I can certainly look in that chest. Okay, how about just look at room? Seems to have entered the underground home of the little dwarf. It's cozy with a fire crackling in the hearth. A pot of chicken soup bubbling above the fire gives a delicious aroma to the room. There's a trunk tucked away in the corner. So I'll get the hat because it hasn't mentioned it. They wouldn't fit me. Okay, get trunk. Come on, come back. Okay. Get trunk, open trunk. Okay, I'll get closer. Open trunk. 
Yay, look in trunk. Earrings, get earrings. Okay, and then we needed soup in the last one. So I'm gonna see if I can get that soup. Oh, the fire's hot. No, 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 no. Okay, get soup. Okay, let me make note that over here there was a dwarf and I got soup and I got earrings. Oh, I bet like I need it. Like last time I needed a shield and a mirror and a, I don't know, a crown I think it was. I bet I need like a bracelet and earrings and some other sort of jewelry for her because, you know, Oh, Adi. Hello. Love you, Adi. <laughs> you like my wig? You like my wig? So over on our, here, uh, I'm going to, oh, ah, what? No, no. Come back. Come back. So over on our Discord, Hey, Discord. Uh, over on our Discord, um, the lovely Audie is uh, running a PVP, kind of like a play-by-post, uh, like vampire RP room. And it's amazing. And oh my gosh, we've got some amazing writers in there that are doing some amazing things. And I know I've said amazing a bunch, but it totally fits. Anyway, um, this is not what my character looks like at all, but now all of a sudden I'm kind of changing how I see her because of this wig. It kind of reminds me of how I imagine she might wear her hair at times. So I feel like I'm so out of touch. I haven't been able to write in there all day. Oh, hi, call sign. How are you? Thank you. Um, I know I can't wait to try this whole costume together. It's gonna to be really exciting. That's my project for tomorrow. Okay, I'm getting the soup. It goes well. I had a really long day at work and then I made my barrette. Where is this? This side. I made my barrette for my wig and I packed up all of my dryad stuff and I fixed, I had to buy a new hot glue gun and um, fix bits and pieces on my, my uh, dryad stilt covers. So I did all of that, burned my fingers. Um, Got a lot of stuff packed up because I have to leave for Georgia um, and go do this Jekyll Con thing on the weekend. I'm really, really excited about it. So I'm lacking on a bit of sleep, but that's okay because, well, I'm not going to get more sleep this weekend because there's like the actual event and then there's the VIP party and then there's all these other things. And so, yeah, I'm not going to get a lot of sleep this weekend, but I'll figure it out it's going to be totally worth it and energizing and fun. So I'm excited. How are you call sign? What are you up to? Were you streaming tonight? I didn't even get to see because I immediately went to like gluing and trying to set this up because, uh, I didn't have everything loaded onto this computer. And so I needed to stop and do all of that. All right. So let me get out of here before this dwarf comes back. I know you do Adi. I'm so excited. I wish you could be there. Oh, boop. Oh, no. Well, apparently I can't climb up ladders. Yes, I know. Come on. He falls on his head a lot. Jekyll and Hyde Con in Georgia. Yes. Oh, what con? I'm sorry. Yeah, Jekyll and Hyde Con in Georgia. I, it's, it's kind of it's scary and exciting. I'm a guest cosplayer there. Like, if you go to the website on Jekyll Con, like, I'm there. My picture's there. It's me. It's so exciting. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon excited about it. I can't wait. So I'm going to Georgia. So we have to leave and get there probably late at night or early in the morning and get everything loaded in. And, um, oh, I still haven't finished making my trinkets. I've got little trinkets for the table and stuff and I've started on them, but I haven't finished them. So that's another project that I have for tonight and or tomorrow. So I'm excited. There's so many fun things happening. Tired, but energized, you know? 
Okay, where am I going? Um, okay, so uh, it's like Jekyll Con and Hyde Con. So the Jekyll side of it is more of the like the comic books and that sort of thing, and the Hyde side of it is more of the like the scary and and the macabre and all of that stuff. So it's um, kind of takes the 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 two sides and puts it together into one big gigantic con. And it's on this place called Jekyll Island. Um, as well. So that's probably why they got the name from it. And it's this gorgeous convention center that's on this kind of island area in Georgia. So, oh, thank you for the link, Scribe. Okay, where am I going? I'm going to go north and see what there is to see there. See, and now you're explaining all the things that I'm about to be explaining at the exact same time because of that lovely little 30 second delay. Okay, North, what is here? Okay, let's look at that log just in case there's something there. Piece of scattered wood, the wood is of no importance. So there is a log. No importance. Um, yeah, what, what I'm saying, you know. Let's go east, maybe? Oh, you know what? I think I explored everything over here. Let me just take a peek next door. Oh, that looks like something. Look in log. Nope. <laughs> Look in log. Look in log. You peer into the old hollow log, you see a flashing necklace of diamonds and sapphires. Oh my gosh, it's a matching set, guys. Um, get. Wait, what was this? A necklace? Get necklace? Okay. I feel like I should save again because I've gotten a lot of stuff and nobody's killed me. Save game. Also got necklace, soup, earrings. Yay. Of steel stuff. This is like that other robber. Crud. Maybe I got away from him. Oh yay! That's awesome. Yes, share the scarecrow. Uh, the scarecrow love. Totally. I cannot tell you after a long day. And what I also love is that um, when I have young ears around in general, most of the time. Like, it's certainly better than a lot of the stuff that's out there for the most part. Everything is pretty mellow and I don't have to worry about it, which is awesome and it's music. Okay, I am at a cavern, not a cavern, I'm sorry, a canyon. I'm just going to look in that tree before I go away, just in case. Look in tree. Let me try moving the rock. I shouldn't, I should have been moving rocks all along, but you know. Cause last time I was able to move a rock, but, um, then it crushed me. Let me look in this tree, too, before I go. I don't think that's anything, but it's hard to tell. Look in tree. Okay, let's go north. All right, well, what do I do? 
I guess we'll keep going north and see what we see up here. Aw, thank you, Goofy. That was really sweet of you. It's good to see you. How is your day, Goofy? Unless you're not on. Are you just hosting me and you're not on? But if you're on, hi. Hope you had a good day. Thank you for the host. All right, so what is that over here? Oh, <laughs> that's the edge of my, my little frame. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I need to get back to my actual DOS box. Um, let's go north. Okay, so is anybody that's on right now, did any of you play through the King's Quest games? Like Call Sign or... I played through all of them, but I don't remember so much. What is that? Look at Riverbank. What is this? No, this is a lake. Look at tree, I guess. The trees around the poison lake are dead. Okay. Get green thing. <laughs> what is that? Um, look at stump. What is that little green pixelated thing right there? I want to know. Okay. Oh, you know what I should do? I have that soup. Maybe grandma wants soup. Oh, let me make a note that there's that funny little green thing on this screen. Um, oh, where am I? I'm not sure exactly where I am. I think it green thing. I think it was right there. I'll find out in a minute. Okay. So, oh, hi, house. I did not have you on my map, I don't think. There's a sign. Let's go read that sign. Read sign. The sign says closed. Hmm, well, let's open the door anyway, because that's what we do. Open door. It's an antique store and it's closed. Okay, antique store. Well, hmm, maybe I'll come back. Maybe it'll be open later. Maybe there's a reason for it, but I will make note. So in King's Quest 1, there was this really, really annoying vine that took forever to climb up and you had to save like every move. I was going to say every three moves, but I learned to save almost every move. It was insane. And I'm really, really worried about what King's Quest 2 has in store for me because I did not remember that vine. I think I blocked it out of my memory from the first time I played. Oh, let's look over there. Okay, so I don't want to drown but I was able to swim before. But maybe I should walk around it just in case. I'm so scared of lakes in this game because sometimes I can swim and sometimes I can't. Like I said, logic is not always prevalent. So I'm going to walk around any water I find. There's a fairy. Hi, fairy. Nope, swim. Hi, fairy. Fairy starts to sprinkle fairy dust on you. Good King Graham, I'm here to help you. I give you a protective spell against certain evil elements, but beware it only lasts for a short time. Okay, so you're just like the godmother. The bad thing about that, though, is that I had to time out exactly when I did that so that I could get to the right place. So 
I need to be really careful about saving after this because there's a good chance I'm going to need this spell later. stump. Oh, after all that? Well, at least I know I can swim in this lake, so I'm going to try that again, since I'm here anyway. Swim. Hello, little pixely guy swimming across. Burr, burr, burr. Let's see what this is over here. Look in hole. Okay, look in hole. There's a glittering diamond and sapphire brooch lying on the ground in the opening between the rocks. My goodness, we are bringing her all sorts of jewelry, aren't we? Okay, that is a brooch and it is here in a little hole. Get brooch. Of course, I'm probably going to have to come back and do this again once I realize what I need that spell for. Um, let's go back to Grandma's and try the soup. Or let's see what this is while I have a protective spell. Open door. Hopefully, I don't need a protective spell here, right? Talk to priest. Look in church. Pray. <laughs> Ooh, I can do it. I didn't think I was going to be able to. All right. The plump monk lifts his head from prayer and seems to notice you for the first time. He stands and asks your name. I'm going to make a note that I need to pray. <laughs> All right. Um, talk to monk. Can I be a service to monk's ass? What name do you go by? Oh, crud. Uh, Sir Graham. Sir Graham. They want to make sure you're paying attention. Oh, maybe I have to capitalize? Or maybe I spelled it wrong. S Sir... G-R-A-H-A-M. The kindly monk explains that he has heard of you and your quest. Here's my cross. It will protect you from evil, he says. He removes the chain with a silver cross from around his neck and gives it to you. The monk then resumes his prayers. Well, that worked out well. And I've got another protective thing just in case my spell work, right, bleh, my spell wears off and I need it. Yay. Oh, whoops. Hang on a minute. Nope. Hang on. Thank monk. You're welcome. Ha ha. Little bit of niceness goes a long way. All right, let's go over here. I bet that spell's going to wear off any second. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe that's just the bell. Grandma, I'm bringing you some soup. Little Red Riding Hood, she looks troubled. She looks a little troubled. Oh, I had got a basket of goodies at the very beginning. Um, give goodies to Little Red. No, don't run away. Don't run away, Little Red. Come back, come back. I have, I have your goodies. They were in the mailbox. I don't know who put them in the mailbox. It was probably a poor choice. I don't know. They were in front of Grandma's house. Maybe you left them there. Uh, give goodies to girl. You know, you introduced her as Little Red Riding Hood game. Come back, Little Red. Ugh. Okay, give goodies to girl. Little 
Will you just stop for just a second, please? Gratefully, Little Red Riding Hood accepts the basket of goodies. In return, she gives you her bouquet of flowers. Yay! Thank you. Um, let me see. How, how do I write this down? Uh, goodies for flowers. That worked out. I'm so glad you're happy. Oh, maybe this is what the protective spell helps me with. Like if I go in and the wolf is there. Open door. Oh, there's grandma. Give soup to grandma. You feed the hot chicken soup to ailing grandma. I feel much better, she says. In return for your kindness, I have something for you. Look under the bed. Look under bed. I wonder what happens if you look under the bed before giving her the soup. I bet it just says you can't do it now. Um, so, Grandma, wait, uh, Grandma equals soup equals a large ruby ring and a black cloak are hidden there. You take them into your possession equals cloak and ring okay so black cloaks probably for hiding and a ring is another present for the girl uh get get ring 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 and cloak uh i have to get them each get ring what why not get cloak Uh, excuse me? Look under bed. Oh. Oh, maybe I already got them. Okay, tab. Ring, black clip. Okay, I already have them. Cool. Thank you, Grandma. Hope you like the soup. All right, so where have I not been yet? whole center of my map. Oh, and the shoreline over here. Um, let me look at these things. Maybe look at the cloak and look at the ring and see if they give me any look at ring. The ring is gold with an enormous red ruby. The initials C, D are engraved inside the gold band. C, D. Well, let's look at the cloak. Because the ring doesn't match with everything else. The black cloak would be better, would better fit a man taller than you. Red satin lines the inside. Okay. Let me see what else I have, if there's anything else I should be looking at. Necklace, steak, bouquet of flowers, clamshell, earrings, cage nightingale. Look at nightingale. Oops, did I misspell it? Night in gale, yeah. Look at bird. Ah, thanks for singing. Look at bracelet. Small wrist. Yeah, all this stuff has sapphires. I think the ring's different. Let me see. Put on ring. Mm. I'll wear it for now. Let me see. Put on cloak. You fling the black cloak around your neck and fasten it. Well, I know I can wear it. Maybe I should be wearing it. We'll see. I wonder if put on bracelet, if it lets me do that. It's too small for my wrist. Okay, so maybe I am supposed to wear those things, but not the bracelet and not the earrings. Probably not the earrings. 
Probably not the necklace because the necklace was also tiny too. Put on necklace. Yeah, okay, so. Oh, but if I have a stake, there's probably a vampire here and maybe that's why I need the cloak. Maybe I need to give the cloak to a vampire. Vampire doesn't seem to really fit in this whole storyline, but hey, if I've got a stake in a black cloak. Oh, this is where I entered. Let's see what's down here. I haven't gone along the whole shoreline yet. Oops. So, oh, swim. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Thank you to whoever hosting. I'm trying to swim. 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 Thank, thank you for the host. It's really weird because it just said um, Indigo Chameleon is hosting, but it's not telling me who's hosting. But whoever hosted, thank you so much. Is that is you call, call sign or Joel plays music? Hi. So okay, so Joel plays music. Uh, we are blonde because this is my wig for my cosplay event that's going on this weekend. Um, Actually, it's not my cosplay event. I'm sorry. It's JekyllCon, but I am a guest cosplayer at JekyllCon, but I was finishing up my uh, my wig and my barrette for it, and so I was testing it out and making sure it all fit right, and I figured, hey, I'll just wear that for the stream. Yay. So uh, JekyllCon in Georgia is this Saturday and Sunday, so I am getting everything packed up to go down there and, or no, go up there, up, and... Um, and do that. I'm really, really excited about it. There's like um, the regular event. There's the the uh, Jekyll side of it, which is all the comic books and things like that. And there's the Hyde side, which is all horror. Um, and uh, there's all sorts of fun things going on. There's a VIP party Saturday night. So I'm going to get to meet all sorts of people. And um, I, I'm, on, I'm on two panels, which is going to be really exciting. So... I'm excited. Uh, I'm sorry you're having a rough time, Joel. That stinks. Oh, no, I don't have the whole outfit on because the whole out, outfit is, um, it's a corset, which I guess I could play in, but it would not be very, very comfortable, but it's a really pretty corset. I should go get it, but it's a steampunk looking corset. And then it's got, I've got little sleeves that match with my skirt because I actually got cut from the skirt. Um, yeah, it's very, uh, steampunk meets saloon meets, I don't know. It's pretty. And then these are the, these are my silk covers to go with it. So I'm going to be a very tall steampunk-ish sort of saloon girl-esque thing. It's fun. I'm excited. But I decided her name's Scarlet because of all the red. This nice, luxurious red. Um, we saw some people dying at the Ren Fair. Try them on. What? Like... Try them on, uh, like the costume. So we had a Ren Fair here a few weeks ago. I love going to the Ren Fair. Um, so do you go in costume to Ren Fairs? Oh, oh, dying, try, yeah, the corsets, yeah. Yeah, actually both of my costumes this weekend are both corset costumes because my dryad wears a corset too. 
So, um, and I've also discovered that getting the stilts on with a corset is really not fun. So I've got this whole new system that I'm trying for the first time this weekend. I tried it last night, but like where I've got a button down shirt and then I put on the stilts and then I switch to the corset after I get the stilts on because trying to lean over in a corset to adjust stilts is just insane. So yeah, they're, I mean, they're beautiful, but yeah, they're kind of a pain. I don't tie them super crazy, crazy tight. There are people who tie them like insanely tight, but I need to be able to breathe if I'm walking stilts. So, I mean, they're snug, but they're not crazy. So, um, yeah. So, but I'm really excited about it. It's going to be fun. Um, and then this, let me see. So corset, skirt, the skirt's all kind of hiked up and then, uh, fishnets and then the long stilt covers. Oh, and I have these really pretty gloves too that are all, uh, wait, you can't see there. They're all like lacy and stuff. It's going to be pretty. I haven't gotten the whole thing together all at once to take pictures yet. So I'm hoping to do that this weekend. I've gotten the corset with the skirt on together. I've gotten the wig on separately. I've gotten the stilt covers on separately, but I have not put everything on all at the same time. So, all right, where am I? Okay. I am here. You know what? What is that rock? I want to look at rock. There's a large rock in the ocean. Maybe since I can swim, maybe if I swim to that rock, because that looks like something I could walk up. Swim. Swim. Yeah, I'm swimming. Okay. Swim to rock. Oh, oh, got it. Okay, I actually have to just go over there. All right. <laughs> no, don't apologize. Uh, swim. Because apparently I'm really bad at playing a game and talking at the same time. You know, this is a skill that I should probably have if I'm going to be doing this. Uh, climb on rock. Okay, fine. I won't do it. Do, 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 do. Mur, mur, mur. All right, well, there's nothing going on here. I feel like there's got to be something going on with that rock, right, guys? Like, there's got to be. You probably already know because somebody's probably pulled up a walkthrough and you're going, yeah, there's this. I was having lots of problems before with, um, oh, shoot, with people not showing up when I did the kind of the playthrough where I knew who was supposed to be there at different times and then nobody was showing up where they were supposed to. I may have to duck out for just a second, like for a super short break to go take care of something in the other room. So what is, what is that over there? What's that thing in black? Look at rock. Okay. Go, I cover a few with some dancing. What are you going to do? How are you going to dance, Nitro? All right. By dancing, I mean, yeah, okay. So, yeah, Nitro, who was it? Plaster Dragon was talking earlier about our D&D &D game on Tuesday, and Nitro is in our D&D &D game on Tuesday, and his character's evil. He's about to argue with you, but see, I've got a 30-second head start on telling you how evil his character is before he hears me saying how evil his character is and that he's really hiding how evil he is. And in about probably now 15 seconds, he's going to start telling us that his character is not evil and defend himself, but I've had 30 seconds to make my case for him being evil. I haven't really made a case. I'm just going to call him evil. Not evil. <laughs> Ooh, dance and necromance does rhyme. <laughs> oh, I see something. Hello, Trident. Ooh, that wave over there looked like a claw. Okay. Look. No, 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 no. Hello, Dos Pops. Okay. Uh, look at Trident. Okay, get Trident. Look at try. Look at trident. Oh, I should write down that there's a trident here. It's rusty and corroded. It looks like a pitchfork. 
Sure does. Okay, trident is right here. Her. Well, where do I go next? I should probably save. Save game. So at this point, I also got also Aslo, also cape, ring, trident. Is there anything else that I got recently? I think that was it. Yeah. All right, well, where do I go? Oh, you know what? I didn't go down here yet. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I bet that's why I need the cloak for. Shoot, did I just miss an event by leaving and coming back? I don't even know where I am right now. Cut, cut, cut. I know it did, it looked like the Batmobile. But maybe it's also a vampire car. There I am. It was coming out of the cave. Maybe this is the person who needs my cloak. Ah, oh, darn it. Did I miss that event? I bet I should reload the game. Since I kind of messed that up. Okay. Restore game. All right, so I was here. And then I went right, and then I went down. <sighs> that was really cool. Why didn't it work? Oh, there we go. The old hag Hagatha is nearby. You can hear her cackling and smacking her gums as she comes closer. She would love to have you for dinner, and I don't mean as a guest. Okay. So a lot of times if I leave and come back, then they're gone. I want to see what that Batmobile thing was. That was awesome. Okay, well, before when I saw it, I came through this little cavey thing. Like this little archway. So I'll try this way. No? Okay, well, let me note that at least the Batmobile showed up somewhere here. So if I need to find a Batmobile at any point, I know where to look. No. Ah! Okay, so there's a witch, but there's also a Batmobile. Okay, where else can I go? I guess I'll go back to the center of the map. I feel like there's stuff I should have been able, like, I feel like someone no-showed on that rock. I might check that rock one more time before I leave and before I go to the center of the map. Oh, duh, the center of the map is where she's being held hostage or whatever, where the princess girl is. That makes sense. Where was that rock? I think it was up one more. It might have been up two more, actually, because I think this is where the trident was. Yeah, it was up two. Oh, maybe it was up three. Wow, pay attention. It was up here somewhere, though. There it is. There's the rock. There's still nobody there, though. Nothing there. Okay, let me try swimming one more time. Swim. 
I'll just swim around. Maybe if I swim out into the ocean, like further. I don't want to die though. Uh, oh. Oh, this is where they started in these games where you couldn't loop around sometimes, but you would just swim and swim and swim until you died. Like you could just keep going west and west and west. Yeah, because that's the same screen no matter where I go with little fishy jumping on it. Okay. Well, let's go to the center of the map then. No, swim. Have fun storming the castle. It's not Tuesday tomorrow. It's not Tuesday. I want it to be Tuesday. Well, I don't want it to be Tuesday because I'm excited about this thing this weekend. But thanks for stopping by. I'll see you Tuesday if I don't see you before then. Let me see what's going on. Oh, yeah, because there's no Jackbox on Saturday. So, yeah, I guess the next time I'll see you is Tuesday. <clears throat> Laters. Oh, I don't know if I ever saw that tree stump. By the time I asked the chat if I ever saw that tree stump and looked in it, I'll have just looked in the tree stump. So I'm going to do that. Look in stump. Oh, okay. Uh, where am I? Oh, I guess I have to figure out how to get to the castle. That makes sense. Well, this is the big moat that goes around it. I remember that. Hi, Scribe. How are you? <laughs> so, so far I haven't died it. You haven't died at all? I haven't died it at all. I don't think I died it. No, I didn't die it. So that's good. Um, and I can swim, so I guess I'm going to swim to this. You can swim to the bridge? I'm sure yeah. there's nothing. Oh, there. no, the water's poisoned. It told me that before. Hang on. Look at water. The lake's foul and sinking. It may be poisoned. All vegetation looks dead around it. Okay, so what do I have so far that might help me? Trident, bracelet, ruby ring, earrings, black cloak, cage nightingale, bouquet of flowers, steak, necklace, brooch, cross, clamshell. Maybe if I put the trident in the water? Put trident in water. Oh. So maybe I can do that, but later. Interesting. Okay. Um, okay, things I haven't done. I never went in the antique shop because it was closed. I... Never got down to that lower left corner. No, sorry, lower right corner. Let me try the antique shop because I'm really close to that and see if that's open now. Never figured out what was going on with that rock, but I kind of give up on the rock for now. That was the tree that had some piece of jewelry in it. I've lost track. Um, oh, and there was that other weird little green thing that was near that lake, and I never figured out what that was or if it was anything. Yeah, like right over here. But it told me it was nothing, so... Okay, and then up was the antique shop that was closed. Let's see if the antique shop's still closed. Oh, fairy spell. I hope that's still in effect because 
before it didn't work very long, or the godmother. Hello, wizard. Oh, I guess it worked. Cool. Read sign. Can we knock on the door, maybe? Open door. Come on. It's got to be something sometime. Let's go around to the back. Maybe there's something in the back of the shop. I didn't check that before, I don't think. This wizard's persistent. Oh, I did go around to the back of the shop. I didn't see the way to do anything there. And not only that, but it blocks me and I can't go any further. Well, I guess I'll go down to the, whatever that lower right hand corner of the map was. I'm not quite sure how to get to that little castle in the middle. I'm guessing the trident has something to do with it. Have you met the mermaid? I have not met a mermaid, but there was a rock that looked an awful lot like a mermaid rock. Return after you get the state from the tree. Ooh. Oh, uh, ending his quest. That looked like just a little drop off to a door. It didn't look like a... It didn't look like I was going to fall into a canyon. Restore game. Well, luckily I haven't done anything since I saved last. Cape Ring Trident. Yeah, because it was just the Batmobile that never came back. Okay. I don't know. It looked like a Batmobile. Now I've got like a vampire cape and I've got a stake. So I have a feeling that it has something to do with a vampire. Okay. So does it say anything about how to get the mermaid to come see you? It just says... Uh, Getting up against the tree is a stake. Take the stake. You will never know when you need to... Already got a stake. Return left to the beach screen and go up one screen to meet a beautiful mermaid. She beckons you to swim with her. Give her flowers. I've got, got flowers. Little Red Riding Hood. And she will take you to meet King, King Triton. Triton. Okay, well, I have he a trident to, to give him. Missing. He's missing his trident? Well, I have a trident. Do you need more beer? No, thank you. I still have beer. Hmm? Hmm? See? Okay, this is the rock. I, I'm willing to bet you this is the rock. I'm wondering if there's a problem. Maybe I have to go, it wants you to go from the left, or at least towards the left, towards west. Maybe I need to enter this in the right direction. Um, it says, return left to the beach screen and go up one screen to meet a beautiful mermaid. Okay, so. From the tree state thing. Yeah, okay, so I'll try going that exact route. Actually, I'll try going left first, and then I'll go left and down and up. Yeah, because she's not there. Down, left, up. There's no mermaid. I need to find the mermaid. Fine, well, then we'll go to the lower left of the screen then if we need to. It's hard to tell if, like, there's a glitch or if I just didn't go in the right direction and do the right thing. I knew there was supposed to be something on that rock. Hmm, I'm going to try swimming across here. I don't think I've been here yet. Swim. Ooh. 
look at Rock. Well, I thought they looked special. Swim. Okay, one more try with this mermaid and then I'm just going to the lower right hand corner. I'm really determined to meet this mermaid now. I went to find the mermaid. Hello, mermaid. Because I do have flowers to give her. Oops, swim. <laughs> it's nice to be able to swim in this one pretty consistently. Look for mermaid. <laughs> dive. Well, let me dive in this one. Fine. I won't meet a mermaid then. I don't want to meet her anyway. <sighs> oh, Sir Graham, you do not get to meet a mermaid today. I'm so sorry. Maybe she would have been your true love. Where am I? I've lost track of where I am. Okay, that's where the mermaid should be. Actually, hang on, let me make a note. Mermaid should be here, question mark. So let's go south for a little while and see if we can either get that Batmobile to show up again or really we can't walk through grass we can't walk through no we can't walk through grass because we're incapable all right where am i i'm so determined i keep checking no. All right. Let's just go east and go down to that little lower right-hand corner place. Did you find her? No. I just keep trying different directions and going to the screen from different places, and she's not there. But I noticed the last time when I was playing King's Quest 1, there were things that I had on my map, like people who were supposed to appear in events that were supposed to happen, and the people, sometimes the people just didn't appear, ever. But I'm guessing Triton's going to give me something I really need, right? Like, I can't progress forward unless I get that darn guy to appear. Let me see what I have in inventory. I've got a trident. I've got the flowers that are going to be for her, a stake for something, the necklace and the brooch is for the girl. Oh, the cross, I bet, is also for the vampire. That'll help protect me, I bet. Clamshell, who knows, but it was hiding the necklace, I think. Bracelet, I'm wearing a ruby ring. I don't know why. I have a black cloak, and I have a caged nightingale. I gave soup to Grandma. If any of you have played this, feel free to chime in. Oh, no, no. Okay, let's go south. Because there's a little screen down here I haven't seen. But I think it's because I ran into that canyon. Oh, hang on. Did I look in this tree? I can't remember if I looked in this tree or not. I think I looked in the tree. I'm going to double check just in case. I was pretty good about looking in trees. Look in tree. Have you talked to the librarian? Librarian? No. Where's the librarian? It's in the town. There's a town? You became the fey one on a pier. Search for trees to find a mallet and continue on up into the town. I haven't found a mallet.
Ooh, there's a bridge though. The bridge can only be crossed so many times, so don't cross it until you're ready to cross it. How do I know if I'm ready to cross it? You can cross it, but you can only cross it like five or six or seven times, and then it's going to collapse. Oh. Well, I've only crossed it once now. And it led me to rocks that I can't. Oh, but north, that's where there's a little door. Yeah, this is where I died before. I did die. That's right. It was when I was trying to get to this door. And it didn't look like a canyon. It just looked oh, like a little edge. Oh, you, okay. This is how you get to the mermaid. With the door? Go up to the screen to a magical door. Look at the door and read the inscription. The door is locked. You cannot open it no matter how you try. Look, at, look door. at door. There's a magical door. If you can open it, the door will lead you to your heart's desire. There's an inscription on the door. Read inscription. Who, whosoever chooses to seek the key for this door will undoubtedly make a splash. Oh, I bet Trident has a key. So now I have to leave and then the mermaid will show up for me? Probably the mermaid shows up. Mm, now, yeah. Got it. Mommy needs dad. Read inscription. Okay. See, you were going to try to tell me not to cross the bridge. I needed to cross the bridge. It was important to cross the bridge, see? Okay, let's go find that mermaid. <clears throat> I should probably save. I'm gonna save. Save game. Nope. After door. Especially because I'm going to cross through that place that had the Batmobile one more time. I'm hoping that Batmobile shows up. Okay, this is where I got something. Oh yeah, I got the soup from here and the earrings. Please show up a Batmobile. No, nope. that would have been cool. It's a weird juxtaposition though of like this fantasy pixelated thing and this thing that doesn't seem to match with what we're doing. Nope, we're going up. Nope, oh, I know what we're doing. Oh, swim. Shoot, 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 swim. Okay, so every once in a while, my hand hits my little touchpad, and um, I've got my DOS box screen up, but I also have my OBS screen up, which is showing the DOS box screen. But if for some reason my hand touches the, the little touchpad wrong, it ends up being just the OBS screen and I can't type and I can't react and I can't do anything and I'm sitting there typing and nothing's happening. <sighs> and that's what's been happening is my DOS box screen disappears and it goes to the back layer. I have to have that screen up on top. Is she going to move us? There's a thing here. No, this is my little traveling mouse. Okay. But I got it out for this because I thought that it would, it was the easiest one and the fastest one to get to. All right, let's go find that mermaid. I think she's, <coughs> excuse me, one more screen up. <clears throat> um, are there three paper bags there? Because somebody else needs lunch tomorrow. Somebody else needs lunch? Somebody no, no, no. Oh, there she is. No, uh, there are 
three just because there was a third, but I'll use a brown paper bag. Hello, mermaid. Look at the mermaid. Swim. Hey, hello, mermaid. Talk to mermaid. She does not reply. She gives you a quizzical look and continues waving her fishtail. Give flowers to mermaid. You graciously offer the beautiful bouquet of wildflowers to the mermaid. She loves the flowers. She then summons forth a magic seahorse. Maybe you could ride it. Yes, ride seahorse. <laughs> of course I'm gonna ride the seahorse. This is so exciting. Oh, okay. Here, ride seahorse. And I shall now swim over to the seahorse. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Please take me to King Triton. There you go. Quick as a flash, it guides, glides under the water with you on its back. This is riveting. Oh my gosh, I'm underneath the water. I'm gonna drown. Don't let me drown. I don't wanna drown. No! Oh, the scenery. All the pixelated scenery, it's so beautiful. Hi, you realize I can't breathe underwater, right? I wonder if it's gonna let me call him King Triton. Talk to Triton. Talk to man. <laughs> globe, globe, globe. Give Trident to man. Reverently, King Neptune accepts his lost trident from you. He gives you a bottle, then waves the trident in front of the huge clam, which opens and reveals a large golden key. <laughs> get key. You are not close enough. Oh, fine. Let's get over there. There we go. Get key. Okay. Um, talk to man. Look at bottle. There's large cloth in the glass bottle. Get cloth. You pull a large piece of cloth out of the bottle. Look at cloth. It's a large sheet of cloth. Well, that's exciting. Go back to shore. Fine. Um, I guess I have to swim this little... Go home. I guess I have to remember where I went. Darn it. I really hope I was paying attention. Oh, okay, this is automatic, cool. That's good, because I wasn't really paying a lot of attention here. That looks like the shore. Uh, thank you, Seahorse, I was gonna thank him, but he's gone. Uh, you just call me there. Save game. Save game. After Trident or after Triton, we'll say. Okay, so I've got the key. I don't know what I need that cloth for. Never did see the woman. I think the only thing I haven't done is figured out what is up with that antique store. But maybe I had to do this first. I'm gonna try that before I leave because I have a feeling, well, I don't know. Oh, and I never figured out what was up with Batmobile too. Uh, you will go to the door, unlock it, and you will get another inscription which will open up other things. Ah, okay. So I'll go to the door. The fairy spell is worn off. Oh, darn it. Well, it took a lot longer. Last time, the Fairy Godmother spell like was super short-lived. Well, then we will go to the magical door. Uh, no.
Okay, so let's head back to the door. I'm just gonna pop over and look at this cave. Oh, I thought the cave was here. <coughs> Maybe it's over one. Just in case, I'm really hoping that Batmobile shows up again. No, I think maybe it was over here. I know it was around here somewhere. I just got off by maybe one screen. Nope, okay. That's where the trident was, which means down here is the little creepy cave. There's actually the chance that I might be able to get through this tonight. I feel like I've done just about everything. There's only a couple little loose ends. Okay, Batmobile's not here. Ooh, well. I'd rather go up here and avoid that witch that keeps showing up in this area. All right. So this was the pond. I never drew the ponds there. Pond. And then this is where I found the necklace. Huh? Have you gotten to the door yet? Ooh, this is the witch. I need to get out of there. Have I gotten to the door? No, I haven't gotten to the door yet. Supposedly close to where the door is, there's a tree with like rocks on the bottom. Of where yeah. The tree is. And inside there's a little hole and in the hole is a mallet. Okay. Which might be good for killing a vampire. I haven't read that one. I have a stake for killing a vampire. Yeah, you need a mallet. I need a mallet to kill a vampire, but I've got a stake? That does not make any sense. Okay, so here is the thing with lots of rocks and a hole in the tree. Uh, but it just keeps telling me it's not interesting. Ah, I think I escaped. Yes. Okay. Generally, if I get off the screen, I come back and they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Should you climb the rocks? I tried that. It wouldn't let me. Yeah, but it seemed like there's got to be something in there, right? Climb rock. There's no reason to climb the rocks. Shoot. I don't want him to steal my stuff. No, 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 no. You got stuck. Try looking at tree. Yeah. I know, and it says there's a hole. Look at tree. There's a sizable hole. Look in hole. Now it's the, uh, it didn't work before, I swear, I tried. Get mallet. Get the hell out of there. Good to know. Get the hell out of here. Oh, I have to go down anyway to cross that bridge. Or I'm going to fall into a chasm. I don't want to fall into a chasm. All right. Little by little. I feel like I've got like three significant tasks left and that's it. Was the door? Aw, thanks. He brought me chocolate. Open door. Unlock door. The key to the first door. Oh, see, first door. There we go. Fits easily into the keyhole. You turn the key and press to the door opens and the key disappears, revealing a second door with another inscription. 
Read inscription. Ooh, this door is TARDIS blue. The inscription reads, whoever, whosoever chooses to seek the key for this door should set their sights high. Um, so, so far all I've had got a tie, got a tie. I don't know what got a tie means. Um, turn in. Oh, not, yes. Well, good night. Thank you for being over here, Plaster Dragon. I know I need to turn in very soon too. I'm pretty tired, but I was thinking I was so close. Okay, so I'm guessing like climb a tree or something like that, but I haven't gotten into the antique shop. Library. I don't even know where this library is that you speak of. Um, and that's it. I think I've done everything. The, the antique shop is the only thing that I'm completely stumped by. I don't know. Um... All right, well, we'll at least try going back to that antique shop because it's the only screen I haven't done anything on except for the thing at the center, but I have a feeling the thing at the center is my very last, like, end game thing. Your fingers are already asleep? Why are your fingers asleep? From typing? From not typing? Oh, your fingers are asleep because you were typing. Got it. Okay, now I understand. The wig. All right. So I'm going to go north. Hi, Emma. How are you, beautiful? Thank you for, for the compliment. This is my wig for this weekend. I'm testing it out. I made my barrette for it. I keep forgetting that it's on this side. Everything's reversed in the camera. Okay, the antique shop is north, like one more, two more screens, I think. But I think I can swim across this river. Aw, thanks, Plaster Dragon. Good night. Sleep well, I hope you actually get to sleep. I should probably go to sleep very soon too. I was gonna do like an hour and 30 minutes and just see where I got on this and um, but gosh I feel like I'm so close I could be wrong but thanks I'm so excited for this weekend I was worried because the wig's a little bit small. I had to like do a lot of pinning to get it to fit correctly. Read sign. I bet it's still closed. Oh, it says open. Yes. Okay. Uh, open door. Yeah. Little old lady in the antique shop says, how may I help you? Um. Oh, there's a lamp. Look at lamp. I bet there's a genie in there. Get lamp? Ooh, save game. <laughs> in shop. I don't want to get this lamp and she's like, you were not supposed to pick it up. Uh, get lamp. Please. You have to buy it. Buy lamp. You got some money. The oil lamp is expensive, the little old lady says. It will cost you two treasures. There is an alternative, though, she says. The old hag Hagatha stole my precious nightingale. If you can return it to me, then I will give you the oil lamp. Guess what, little old lady? I still, I already have your nightingale. Yep. Give nightingale to lady. Specify who you wish to give it to. To her, that one there. Give Nightingale to old lady. I was trying to be polite. Give 
Nightingale. Hi, Giffy. How are you? Thank you for the host earlier. That was really sweet. Uh, give Nightingale to woman. You must specify who you wish to give it to. Come on. Give bird to hag. Oh, oh. okay. Apparently, I'm supposed to call her a hag. I, it would seem so rude. I didn't want to call her a hag. I wanted to call her a lady, a woman, you know. This is rude. You hand the birdcage with the nightingale to the little old lady. Now they're calling her a little old lady. Ah, oh, my precious, she exclaims. In gratitude, she gives you the oil lamp. Good luck, she says. She hastens you out the door and closes up shop. Well, that worked out. I know, so, so rude. rude. You are correct. What's up, hag? Aw, oh, thank you, Plaster Dragon. Welcome to the fold, dude. Aw. Now you get to play with karma. Yay! Yeah, you get our little, like, love heart emoji chameleon. It's pretty. My sister made him. He's so cute. It's pretty great. Okay, so let me write lamp there. So look at lamp. The old oil lamp is fashioned of brass that has been tarnished. There is a spout at one end and a round handle at the other. The lamp is empty inside. Oh, thank you. Will do. So I thought you were going to bed, Plaster Dragon. Weren't you going to bed? So I'm guessing we've got to rub this lamp, huh? Yay, there's a GD. Night. Talk to oh, when you rub the tarnished brass lamp, you hear a poof. And a genie appears. Master, he says, I leave a gift for you. A magic carpet. The genie then poofs back into the lamp. Nice. Get carpet. I may have already gotten it. Okay, look at carpet. The magic carpet is a beautifully woven Persian rug with a colorful fringe on the ends. Oh! I bet the carpet is going to help me get across that poisonous lake. Ride carpet. Yes. Oh, it's it's auto now. Okay. Yay! I feel like this is like end game territory. Let's go. What are we gonna get over here? Okay, actually. Save game. <laughs> After magic carpet ride. Yeah. Okay, let me flip my map. So I've got my carpet ride. Where'd the carpet take you? It took me to a ledge. Oh, to a whole new world? A whole new world. Yes, it took me to a whole new world. Look out. There's a poisonous viper blocking your path. Oh, no. Let me figure out what I need to do about this poisonous viper. Ah, uh, there's my DOS box again. Um, empty bottle, cross, cloth, clamshell, carpet, black cloak. Maybe I need to throw the cloth on the viper. That makes sense. Hmm. Ooh, you need a sword. I need a sword? I don't have a sword. A genie will give you three items when you rub the lamp three times. You get three wishes. Oh, rub lamp. Talk to when you rub the lamp and you hear a loud poof and a genie magically appears. Master, I leave a gift for you, a beautiful sword. The genie that disappears in a puff of smoke. Okay, so I'm gonna list genie. So number one, he gives me a carpet. Number two, a sword. All right, I'm gonna type use sword on viper. Because that way, I've learned the hard way. I need to get close to this thing and be able to press return really fast. Or press enter really fast. No! 
I can't do that. Oh, it struck me dead. <laughs> but I'm supposed to use the sword on him. <sighs> okay. Well, at least I just saved. Yep. Restore game. No! Oh, I'm so sorry. Was I not supposed to use the sword on the viper? Uh, what's your third item that you got? Rub frickin' lamp. Yep. Okay, we'll find out, because I still haven't gotten my sword. I trusted you. Well, if you look at the sword, there's even a snake on the sword. Oh, really? Like... Look at the sword. The shining sword is incredibly large. It's not incredibly large, but it's very sharp. It has a snake carved into the bronze I mean, handle. Yeah, come on. Uh, rub the lamp a third time. Yeah. I leave a gift for you. A leather bridle. The genie then pops it. Apparently it's not a snake. It's polymorphed into a snake, but it's not a snake. I'm supposed to use the bridle on the snake? If we did not have the internet. Oh I'm... my gosh, really? I would spend the next three hours trying to stab this snake with the snake sword. Throw the bridle on the snake. Oh my gosh, the lamp disappeared. Throw the bridle on the snake? Well, thank you for saying that. Honestly, that's just stupid. Okay, throw bridle on snake. I would have never guessed that in a million years. That's insane. You don't stab him with the snake sword. You throw the bridle on him. Nope. I need to type it again. Throw bridle on snake. This is so dumb. Uh, you toss the leather bridle onto the coiled snake. Instantly there stands before you not a snake, but a beautiful winged horse wearing the bridle. You can probably more spell. Oh my gosh. Ride horse. The winged horse has a very independent nature. It doesn't want a rider on its back. Well, what else do I have for it? Can I give it something? Cloth, black cloth, mallet, earrings. You don't have to. It's a horse. What would Suki do? I said ride the horse. What would Suki do? Me. Pet horse. It's a beautiful white horse lets you stroke its velvety soft nose. Little Talk to horse. horse. Yes. Thank you, issue. kind sir, for saving me. An evil enchanter turned me into a snake when I refused to be a steed. To repay you, here's a magic sugar cube that will guard against poisonous brambles. Well, thank goodness I have a magical sugar cube. Throw bridle at snake. Pet, talk, horse, sugar cube. All right, so I guess I need to find some poisonous brambles now. I was hoping I could ride him across the lake. There's a cave, supposedly. There is a cave. I'm going to look at this rock. I don't think there's anything there, but it's probably better just to check. Look at rock. They're not very special. I think they're special. You're special rocks. We rock rock. Save game. <laughs> Mouth of scary cave. Oh, there's a key. I bet that's for my door. Because all magic doors come in threes. I'm sure, right? 
This is where I need a teleport spell, because I want to be like, cool, now let me just teleport to that door. <laughs> get key. Okay. All right, now I need to get away from here. Maybe it'll just let me ride that carpet all the way back. It will. Ride magic carpet. It wouldn't be safe to ride the carpet till you're all the way out of the cave. Only weird QA types do that. <laughs> okay. Ride <laughs> magic carpet. Yay! All right, home stretch. Just have to figure out the vampire and get to the um the castle to find my true love. All right. Oh, let me make sure of where I'm going right now. Antique shop. Okay, so I need to go straight down. Like south, 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 south. Yay. What's going to be fun is getting to see... I think it was King's Quest 4. King's Quest 4 is where the graphics changed a lot. Like, all of a sudden, they were just to my mind, like after watching these, they were just gorgeous. They were so pretty. <clears throat> now I'll probably look at them now <laughs> and go, wow, they didn't really change much, did they? <clears throat> but, um, but getting to see the evolution so quickly of this game, like one right after another is probably going to be really neat because one and two pretty much look alike. I think I had the, oh, no, no, no. Let's get off the screen. Stinging dwarf. When did I have, I had a piece of paper that had like when this one came out. Oh my gosh. I don't know, no, I don't think I have that piece of paper with me. Any guesses to who the big boss is? The big boss? Is it like an ogre or something? Nope. No? Zombie King. The king turned into a zombie and has the cast, has the princess. If I said, bleh, bleh, bleh. Oh my god, a vampire? Not a vampire. Dracula? Count Dracula. Count Dracula. No wonder I have a steak. Yes. That seems really random for a fairy tale game. Like, oh, look, it's little old lady and it's the big bad wolf. And then there's the vampire, you know. All right, we're getting close, guys. No, oh, I just about walked off the cliff. Crap, 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 crap. We're so close. We're gonna win this you, game. You, you kind of are. In one night, we're gonna get this. Okay, unlock door. The key to the second door fits easily into the keyhole. You turn the key and shazam, the door opens and the second gold key disappears. <coughs> Excuse me, revealing a third door with yet another inscription. Let's read that inscription. Inscription. Oh, it's a tiny little door too. Whosoever chooses to seek the last key must have a stout heart. All right. Well, the last one was all about heights and then I guess I did go up to heights, but it was kind of a roundabout way. All right. Oh, you know, what? I'm going to save again because just in case I fall on a cliff, I don't want to have to do that all over again. Save game. After third door.
So I'm guessing I have to go back to that vampire cave or that weird cave that I saw the Batmobile. Uh, you go to... Or do I go to the big castle in the center? I feel like this is endgame, like go to the big castle in the center. There's a now in that poisoned lake. Oh, that's good. Um, probably where the big outcropping thing is. If I had to guess where a boatman would be. Possibly, maybe. This is so exciting. You're doing very good. Oh my gosh. Oops, I lost my DOSBox screen again. Hang on. There we go. I'm gonna go kill myself a vampire. Where am I? Oh my gosh. I think I get there we go. You know what? He's gonna be it we're gonna be up a screen and this is where that dwarf keeps showing up. I would rather go north. That way I'm less likely to run into that dwarf, because that would suck. Crap, I am in the middle of the screen. She's going to totally get me. Crap, 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 crap. She just cooked me for dinner. And then I died. Well, okay. I'll just avoid her next time. That's okay. That's... I haven't done anything since I saved, so... I got eaten by the witch. Ken and Roberto will... Okay, no. Okay, restore game. After third door. All right, I will just not go that route. I crossed the bridge before looking at my map too much. I'm over looking at my map. It's like, no, let's pay attention to the bridge and not fall off it. Okay, let's go left. And then I guess up. See, there's just a witch there and a dwarf there. This is where the mallet was. Oh, but if I go up and immediately to the left, I'm avoiding the dwarf area and this is where the poison lake is. If I had to guess, it would be right in front where I can see the door to the castle. <clears throat> Look at that. It's death on a boat. Hi, death. Talk to death. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I get no response from him. Um, before you talk to him, whose castle is that? The vampire's castle? So if you look like him, you're going to get a pretty rag. I'm rag. wearing a cloak. Are you wearing the ring? Yeah, I'm wearing the ring too. Okay, cool. Um, but I said put it on, but I'm not wearing one. Like, it doesn't look like it. I'm already wearing it, yeah. Cross, put on ring, ring. And cloak. Put on cross. You place the silver cross and chain around your neck and wear it as a necklace. Okay. Okay. Uh, boatman. Ride boat. The shrouded ghoul looks at the ruby ring on your finger and the black cloak around your neck. He motions for you to enter the boat, which you do. You must have fooled him into thinking you were someone else. Well, he's not actually wearing a cloak, so it's a little hard to tell. Yay. But I'm glad you said that because I was not wearing the cross. Get off boat. And I'm guessing not right now. Go to door. You can try to go there. Thank boatmen. You're welcome. Swim. You need to be in the water. Get in water. Get out of boat. There we go. All right. Oh, those are brambles. Those are poisonous brambles. Eat sugar cube. After swallowing the magic sugar cube, you get a feeling of invincibility. 
Yeah, those look like poisonous brambles, and I bet if I hadn't eaten it, I would be doing the same thing that happened with that stupid vine, which is bumping into these things. Hi. I don't know what just happened, because it... I keep forgetting to move my screen down so I can... Oh, Rainy! Thank you! Hi, Rainy! I haven't seen you in forever. How have you been? Thank you for the follow. Is that Rainy? Yeah, Rainy Keys. What's up, girl? Hi! I'm Rainy. Do you... It's so good to see you. You are so missed. Yeah, you've been like MIA over on Plaster Dragon. We haven't seen you in so long. Oh my gosh, hi! Um, oh, I need to get my Toxbox screen back so I can see what's going on. Finals have got... Oh, I'm sorry. Finals are tough. But hey, you're in the home stretch. Are you, do you guys have one week left? Or or is this your final week? Because I know a lot of times like university ends a little bit earlier than the regular like elementary, middle school, high school stuff. There are two spooky ghosts guarding the door of the gloomy castle. This situation looks bad. A split final this week? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Like you do half this week and half next week or, okay, let me figure out what's in my inventory so I can figure out how to deal with these ghosts. Uh, you don't have to. Oh, oops, no, I don't want to go into the spooky brambles. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's seriously playing Thriller. I love this so much. I think the other one, King's Quest 1, was like 83 or was it 86? That makes sense. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just going to try opening the door. The ghost won't let you reach the door. Talk to, uh, talk to ghosts. Oh, they're doing Thriller. Should I dance with the ghosts? I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> nope. Then we have the weekend, we'll go to Wednesday. Oh, okay. Yay. Well, Wednesday, so you're in the home stretch. You've got like less than a week. What's in my inventory? Brooch, empty bottle, cross, carpet, steak, sword. Hmm. Speak to ghost? No. When you speak to the ghost, they utter a mournful wail. Um. Say boo. Okay, boo. Uh, what else could I do? Um, let me just open the door. Um, any ideas in chat about why I should do these ghosts? Ghost will leave you alone if you are all dressed up in disguise. I am all dressed up. They're not hurting me. The two spirits are fooled by... Oh, I just didn't go close enough to the door. That's all. The two spirits are fooled by the black cloak and the large ruby ring that you are wearing. They slowly float away. Maybe you remind them of someone else. Okay, so I just wasn't close enough to the door. That's all. Open. I thought it would be funny, though, with them playing Thriller if I was supposed to dance with the ghosts. Open door. Yes. Okay, so I'm in the castle. And I can go right, or I can go left. Let's try going right. Oh, you know what? No. Uh, save game. In castle. That is better. Yeah, no, because this is all wooden-y and stuff, and it looks like it goes down. I feel like going down would be better. Oh, no, it goes upstairs. Well, that's okay. We'll just go upstairs. You know what? No, I'm just going to peek next door. Okay, this is spiral scary ramp that's kind of like that vine, but maybe not quite as evil. Yeah, you still are going to want to say it. It goes up. And then you're going to head out. See ya. I'll see you in a few minutes, Rainy. Okay. Oh, I've got a table over here. With something on the table. Look at table. 
The tabletop is completely covered with dust scratches, scarred the legs of the table, chairs with torn padding accompany it. A delicious looking smoked ham is on the table. We'll get that ham. I'm sure that'll be useful for something, right? Let's see what's over here. Oh no, okay, it's dark. No, 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 Three no. Three hall, go left and up the stairs to okay. Dracula's bedroom. Oh, restore game. There's okay, so I just needed to go the other way. I need to, I'm gonna get the ham first just in case I need that. And then I'm gonna yeah, go the other way and go up there. the stairs. You're gonna go I'm guessing because it was really dark, I probably need something that's gonna light that up like a candle or something. Okay. Get ham. Okay, and then I'm gonna go left and I'm gonna go up the crazy, crazy stairs. I'm gonna look at that bookshelf just in case there's something important about it. Because maybe it opens. Look at bookcase. Open bookcase. At least not now. Okay, so I may be able to open it later. That may be like final boss battle kind of thing. <clears throat> there is a dresser with a candle in the dresser. Ooh. In Dracula's bedroom. I feel like they decided to be cruel with the whole like spiral thing, but maybe not as cruel. And I'm hoping this is, yeah, I can go into the wall. Not as cruel as the vines. People probably complained about that vine because that was really, really awful. I'm still gonna like save uh, because I know how I am with these sorts of things and I fall down a lot. Save game. So I'm gonna do what I did before with that vine thing, like on, on stairs or on ramp. And then I'll just save it over and over just because I know me and I know that I tend to fall off these things. But it's still not as bad as that line. Oh, it doesn't go up very far at all. Oh, this is way better. I'm so relieved. Ah. Okay. Look at room. You see nothing special. Look at drawers. Look at that red thing, whatever it is. No, oh my gosh, I keep losing dust spots. Okay, look at open drawers. We'll try that, open drawers. Look. Look at dresser. At dresser. The old dresser is scratched and nicked. You can tell it was once a fine piece of furniture. There are several drawers in the dresser. Open dresser. There's a candle line in the, ah, get candle. Thank you, Emma. On you pick way. it up and care. I never considered that like, if English is your second language, these games have got to be so much harder to play because it's like drawers, drawers, like what is it called? What is the specific word that we need? Cause there's a lot of different words we could use. Okay. On your way back down, there's a torch. Oh, thank you. Uh, look at bed, just in case. The bed's lumpy and sagging in the middle. A faded old quilt covers it. Get quilt. The quilt is old and tattered. You wouldn't want it. Okay, well, I was just checking. Sometimes I need really random items. All right, let's go down these stairs. I really want to just jump down here, but I have a feeling it will make me die. Don't forget to light your candle on the way back. Here. Look at torch. Light candle. You hold your candle up to the blazing torch. It catches your candle is now lit. I'm guessing it's not going to let me get the torch. I'm just going to ask anyway. It's firmly attached. 
That's why I need the candle, because if I could get the torch in the first place, I wouldn't need the candle. It's too cold to get any more night photos, but the ones I shot today, are... what were you taking photos of? We did photos last night of my Dryad costume for the convention this weekend. Oh, and that's right, and they're in my email, and I haven't even looked at them yet. Like, I looked at the rough ones, but not the ones where the the cords got taken out of the background. We could not get far enough away to not have, like, cords, so we had to get the cords taken out. My mama did that, too, because she's better with Photoshop than I am, and I really didn't have time. It was an insane day. So now there won't be a couple of big black cords in the middle of the photo, so that's good. Yay! Okay, let me save one more time. Save game. I'm just gonna save, over. you know what, I'll save one more, okay. Before dark stairs. Before, whoa, come back. Before dark ominous stairs. And it stares S-T-A-I-R-S and not S-T-A-R-E-S, see? But either way would work. Star trails? Ooh, that sounds really interesting. I loved astronomy so much. I took a college course in astronomy and um, it was awful, like the, it was just boring and there wasn't very much information and I finally decided to just take notes out of the book, like on the side, the teacher would go off on tangents all the time and it was just, um, we weren't getting a lot of good information so I would just kind of take my own notes from the textbook and um, I got so much more out of it on my own than in the actual class, but it was such a great textbook. And I saved it because it had all this information on like dates of the meteor showers and all of that. And um, not knowing that eventually I really wouldn't need that because I could just look it up on my phone. Okay, there's a rat in there and I really don't want him to attack me because last time there was something where a rat attacked me before I think. Oh, I have ham. Maybe the rat will want ham. You don't see a rat, but you hear scurrying sounds coming from the cracks in the wall. I'm just going to save here just in case he kills me. Save game. Bottom of stairs. Okay. Let's go through the hole. Oh, there he is. All right, so... Stab vampire with steak, I have a feeling no, I'm no, going no, to do. No, no, no. It's, no, no. Open or closed? it's closed. It's closed? It's closed. You're going to open lid. Yeah. And then immediately type kill Dracula. Just kill Dracula? See, you should not be telling me these things. But I'm kind of glad you are because I'm kind of tired and I want to go to bed. Okay. Open coffin. Yeah? Lid. What if I say coffin? I'm going to try it. With trepidation, you lift the heavy lid of the beautifully carved coffin. You, your heart beats wildly when you see a vampire lying asleep within it. It must be Count Dracula. It won't let me type before while this paragraph's up. Okay. Kill Dracula. Yes. Er, 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 er. You place the pointed stake on Count Dracula's chest quickly using the mallet. Oh, that's why I needed the mallet. This would not have worked if I didn't have it. You pound the stake through his heart. Dracula disintegrates into a pile of dust. A small silver key is left behind in the coffin. Oh, I have to go back to the doors and the girls behind the door. No, look at the coffin. No? Okay. Or take the key. Get key. Get key. Okay. Look and coffin. Trembling with fear, you peer onto the ornate coffin. Finding it unoccupied, you see the interior is lined with shiny red satin. 
get satin. A red satin pillow lies at one end. Get pillow? You remove the shiny red pillow from the coffin. Lo and behold, a large gold key was under the pillow. Nice. Get key. Because these doors seem to be using gold keys. All right. But the silver key does something. Okay. I feel like that's the Reggie in Billy speaking. <laughs> yes. Oh, I have to go back up these stairs. Fun. Still not as bad as the vine in King's Quest 1. That vine was evil and I hate it and it's in my nightmares. Because this is just like left, up, left, up, left, up, left, up. Okay. All right, is there anything else to do here? There is a tower. Walk up the oh, that's, that's right. There was a. Room. Oh, um, the yeah. I'm seeing if this is a entrance to something. There's this like curtain in the back, but it kind of looks like it's just a curtain. But maybe it's an actual place. Yeah, it's an actual place. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some more saving to get up these stairs. Save game. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay. No, it's oh, shoot. Save game. Entering tower. Okay. Because these are a little bit more curved, but it's still not that bad. I'm just wondering how far they're going to make me climb. Especially because you can't see it. Wow, two dimensions suck sometimes. Oh, there's a chest. Look at that chest. Hello. Oh my gosh, where this? Okay, open chest. Nope, that's because I typed it wrong. Open chest. The old chest is locked shut. You need to unlock. Oh, that's what the key. So unlock chest. That's the silver key. With hands trembling, you fit the little silver key into the lock. Slowly you turn it until you hear a click. The old chest is now unlocked. Open chest. The old lid. Okay, look in. Looking into the interior of the musty chest, you see a dazzling diamond and sapphire tiara. Oh, that matches with my bracelet and my necklace and whatever the other thing is. That's for the girl. Get tiara. That's the last thing. Oh, because I'm a king. That's right. Because I, you know, the king died and I took over and nobody knows. It's pretty bad. Um, so now she needs a tiara because she's going to be a queen. That makes sense. Okay. Save game. Because I don't trust these stairs. After tower. Jeez, it looks like I'm standing on the wall. And I would just pop down, but I somehow know that I would die if I just popped down. I mean, I might not, but I probably would. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Well, still don't know what I need the ham for. The only other thing it looks like you... Open bookcase said I couldn't do that now, so I'm just going to try that before I leave, just in case. Bookcase. You can't do that. Okay. Is there anything else in the castle that I should be doing? No. Once you have the okay. tiara, you get back on the boat, 
you go unlock the door. Yeah. Which hopefully you've only you've only crossed the bridge the amount of time. Yeah, well I haven't crossed the bridge any more than I need to. Like I haven't crossed it in unnecessary amount of times. Every time I've crossed it, I've crossed it for a reason. Yes. Well, thank you for stopping by, Rainy. It was really good to see you. Oh, by the way, Rainy, before you go, hang on. Um, here, Discord. We've got a Discord and we've got like PVP, like a vampire PVP going. It's really, really cool. Um, feel free to join us. All right. Oops. I just. Yay! Okay. Oh. Jeez, I keep losing my DOS box. Okay, get on boat. You climb into carpet rowboat and the shrouded fiend paddles across the toxic lake to the shore. Yay! I, I have not been modding my channel very well here. Oh, yay! And then... <laughs> so... There we go. Okay, so now I need to go down, figure out where I am in relation to that door. I'm going to try to avoid that dwarf so that he doesn't take any of my stuff. So I'm going to go right, right. There's only one screen that I could encounter him on before the bridge. So I think I'm good. <gasps> okay, that's the chasm. This is the screen that he might show up on. But I'm close enough to the edge that I think I'm okay. Yay. We're almost there. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost died just there. That would have sucked so bad. We're at the door, guys. We're at the door. It's so exciting. Oh, you know what? I haven't done this one once. Oh, that's not here. Wait, over on the mod channel. Okay. I have not done this once tonight, but um, this month we are super, super like trying to promote and help out with uh, Feeding Children Everywhere because it's an amazing organization and they're doing all kinds of incredible stuff and you can check out the link. And what we've also decided is 50% uh, of any bits we make this month on anything we do and subscriptions and everything else um, is going to Feeding Children Everywhere. Um, one of our members got uh, a Facebook event going and raising money and raised like, I think it was $190 in two days for them. Uh, it was spectacular. So. They're a great organization and I'm totally putting it up there so that people can check them out. Okay, unlock door. The key to the third door fits easily into the keyhole. You turn the key and presto, the door opens and again the key disappears, revealing a world unlike any you've ever seen yeah, before. Right. Yes. Sleep time for Emma. Thank you, Emma. We're so close. Have a good night. I'm going to save my game because I'm about to find a princess. Finding a princess. All right. So we're going to go south, I guess, because it doesn't look like it can go north. I've got to be close. I'm only at 161 and 185, but I'm guessing I've got enough time because I don't think there's anything I've missed. I'm going to get that princess. This looks like a cave, maybe? No. OK. 
okay, I guess I was supposed to go north. Gosh, I thought I was going to like walk through that door and find a princess. I realized I was still going to have to do something. You got to go fishing. I got to go fishing. All right, I'll go fishing. You need a net. I need a net. All right, well, I'm going to go north because going south did not help me. But I got to be close. Oh, I see a net. I got a net. Look, the sand on the sparkling beach is a deep blue. The bright sunlight from a gorgeous pink sky dances across at Cliff's Tower above the beach. There's the fishing net. Get net. All right. We'll try fishing. Fish with net. You fish and fish. However, no matter how hard you try, you don't seem to be able to catch anything. Well, maybe I need to go down here. We'll try down here. We'll try fishing on this screen. Fish with net. Nope. Okay, then we'll try down here on this screen. Fish with net. You fish and fish, however, no matter how. Ah! Okay, let's try it like off the edge down here in this nice little, very convenient opening towards the lake. It stands out. Fish with net. You cast the fishing net into the wild sea. Upon retrieving it, you see you have caught a large golden fish. It falls from the net and flops helplessly on the beach. Throw it back. All right. Um, oh, oh gosh. Wow. It's helpless. Talk to, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Talk to fish. The gasping fish. Throw fish back. You don't have the fish. Get fish. You can't reach it from here. I'm trying. I'm trying, little fishy. Get fish. You grab the flopping fish. Throw fish back. I'm betting if I throw this fish back, it's going to reward me somehow. You throw the poor gasping fish back into the iridescent water. Gratefully, it calls to you. In return for saving my life, I wish to offer you a ride across this ocean. Yay! Ride fish. Aw, look at me riding the fish. Woohoo! Man, you got good back up. Yeah, I do. Kee hee! Look, I'm in an island. I fell down too. I fall down a lot. We are so close, guys. Oh my gosh, we're totally gonna find ourselves a princess. Hello! Kee hee! All right. So let's go find that princess. I have a feeling it's a demon? that it's a demon, a dancing demon. No, something isn't right there. I got a theory. Some kid is dreaming. There's a tower with a door. It's getting eerie. What's this cheery singing all about? All right, open door to tower with princess in it. We're gonna walk up the stairs. You know what? No, we're gonna save the game. Um, I'm just gonna leave it finding a princess because that's what we're doing. Oh yeah. I lost my footing on the narrow stairs. Okay, so this is the freaking vine from King's Quest 1. Got it. Oh, but I didn't die. That's good. I just can't see where the entrance to the stairs is. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, so when this gets tricky, I am going to start saving. Save game, because I learned my lesson from before. Oh, okay. Okay, save again. <laughs> Finding a princess. Oh, okay, that was... A there's a huge lion with dripping fangs at the top of the stairs. He has a hungry look in his eye. You know what? I have some ham. Feed, nope, not geed. Feed ham to lion. Okay, we're gonna get a little closer to him. No, 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 no. Crap, 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 crap. I'm so glad I saved the game. I'm instantly killed after all of this to be killed at that point. <sighs> I died, but it's okay because like I saved at the top of the ramp. Did you ask her to marry you? No, I saw a lion. Oh, good thing you have something lion. Yeah, I know. I was trying to feed him the ham. Hungry, the lion gobbles down the smoked ham and then falls fast asleep. All right, now. I can go in that door. Open door. You have found her, the girl from the magic mirror. She's even more beautiful than you had imagined. Talk to girl. My name is Valenice. What is your name? Sir Graham. Oh, Graham, I'm forever grateful to you. Give Jewelry to girl. Not right now. Give tiara to girl. Give bracelet to girl. You can't do that, okay? Rescue princess. Oh my gosh, rescue girl, help. Not right now, what do I need to do? Um, uh, talk to girl? There's no tongue for small talk. Oh really? Well this just feels like, kiss girl, come on. We're gonna kiss the princess. This just feels like a violation. Come closer, kind sir. Oh, she's really, she's that kind of girl, huh? Oh my gosh. You tentatively embrace the beautiful girl. Your lips meet hers and you're both in ecstasy. This was well worth playing the game for. Aww. Rescue girl, are we done? Not right now. That self-awareness though, yeah. <laughs> um, go home? You can try to go there. Does she follow me if I leave? Open door? I thought, well, yeah, I, I found her. Talk to, is it going to make me do this again? Talk to girl? Sir Graham. Oh my gosh, it's putting me back into a loop with this. Kiss girl. How do I get out of here? Is that it? It didn't give me end credits. I don't know what to do. She is beautiful and lovely. Mary girl, <laughs> I'll try it. Don't be impatient, you've just met, take some time and get acquainted. Well, I just met her and just kissed kiss her? her. I did kiss her. Um. Get acquainted with girl. <laughs> Talk with her. 
I did. I talked with her and gave her my name. To girl. There's no time for small talk. I, I kissed her. I talked to her. I told her my name. Did you ask her to marry you? Ask. <laughs> Propose to girl. <laughs> ask her to marry me. <laughs> Tell girl king is dead. Tell girl <laughs> I'm king. <laughs> Say I'm king. <laughs> Say marry me. <laughs> what the frick do I do? Okay, Ask help. her to marry me. Does it work? Ask her to. Oh, maybe I give the bracelet now. Give jewelry to girl. Give bracelet to girl. Not right now. Oh, really? Get, what do I have in my inventory? Fishing net, silver key, black clock, mallet, earrings. Okay, Tara, earrings. It won't let you give her jewelry. It is something that you assume happens after the wedding. No. So what do we do? Marry girl? I think I already said that. Yes, of course I will. Ah, oh, frick, really? Go home. Rescue girl. She still isn't following me though. Um, I tried. Here, she says yes. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go home. Let's go. Mary girl. Yes, of course I will. Kiss girl. <laughs> Leave castle. Go home. Go home. I tried that. Um. I tried giving her the jewelry. What do I do? This is annoying because I've won. I did it. Home. Nope. <laughs> Not ho. Home. Exit castle. If I leave, she doesn't follow me. Do you have an amulet? No, I have a tiara. Supposedly, once you ride the fish to the island, after rolling onto the shore, go right one screen and take the amulet. Look at the amulet to see the word home. Wonder what that is supposed to mean. So... You get the amulet. You get the girl. You use the amulet to get home. Oh my gosh. So I basically have to go back. You either have to go back or we would have passed away. Rap. Because you didn't get that one item. Oh my gosh. Well, it wasn't that long ago. Let me see. <clears throat> it's right after you catch the fish. Or get off the fish. The only problem is, I think find, once I got there, I just kept saving over Finding Princess. We saved over it. So the last one is on the ramp inside the freaking vampire's house. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Crap. That sucks. Oh no. Are we all the way back to this? <gasps> I can't do this right now. I can't stay up this late. Ugh. 
Oh my gosh, this is back to get candle. That's so far back. I have to do this another night. Yeah, let me try backtracking from there. Restore game. Okay, we'll go down these this ramp and see if we can get instantly killed I don't know if it's gonna let me restore the game uh, like if it's gonna let me backtrack to the amulet I'll try though because if not I'm gonna have to go back and do a lot of stuff and I'm not gonna do it tonight there is no way <clears throat> but at least now I know what I need to do oh my gosh This stinks, just one thing, there's one thing. Well, at least I'm not deaded. All right. So the amulet was where the fish was? Like, was it on this shore? After rolling onto the shore, go right one screen and take the amulet. Oh, okay, so it's, it's in this place. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's here. It's like where this place is. <clears throat> okay, so I might actually be able to do this. Walk down one screen to the quartz tower. So it makes it sound like it's the one north of it? Oh, got it. Okay, so I need to go north. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, like, up there. Okay, that's not so bad. How did I not know that was a quartz tower? Okay, this is going to be a relief if I can, like, get it here and not have to redo that. Because that was walk. <sighs> a glint of metal catches your eye. You look towards the direction of the glint and see an amulet lying on the ground. Thank God. Thank you. I love you. Here we go. That's what we need. Look. Get amulet. Look at amulet. Examine the amulet. It's made of bronze. It has. It's tarnished with age. A tiger's eye stone is embedded in the front. You turn the amulet over. You see the word home engraved on the back. That is my ticket home. Billy is the best. <clears throat> you are correct. All right. Let's go rescue a princess and go home. And not respect her space by immediately kissing her before even like so much as just getting her name and that's it. Just feel like that was slightly disrespectful. Oh my gosh, I've got a wild kitten running across this floor. Hi, little one. A wild untamed Zuki. All right, open door. Nope. Yes, boundaries are apparently not a thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I'm trying. It's really hard to get up on these stairs when you got something in my way. People. I know. I'm going to save as soon as I get up on the... Ah! Uh, up on the stairs. Oh! Okay. Uh, Zuki just knocked over something. Save. Save game. All right, now we're going to do this. Uh-oh. The lion is back. The lion is awake. This could be bad because I no longer have ham. Oh, I do have ham. Okay, feed ham to lion. That was good. Okay. Well, that worked out. Yeah, but that was because I'd already fed it to him. I didn't think I had the ham still open door. Okay, do I have to like kiss her and all that all over again? Talk to girl. Uh, sir. Graham. Violate girl. Oh, we kiss girl. That's what it's supposed to say. I guess it was. Mary girl. Home. You murmur the word home. A tingly sensation envelops your body. You black out for a second. When you come to, you see you are somewhere else. Congratulations, King Graham. You have won the hand of the beautiful Valenice. May you two live happily ever after. Oh, look, there's a dragon there. Oh my gosh, there's the dragon from King's Quest 1. And the dwarf and the wizard and all the people who are trying to kill me and the giant. That's really sweet. I, I wouldn't have invited them to my wedding. They tried to kill me. It was just rude. And the vampire's there, even though I already killed him. And the witch. Aren't there subjects in this castle? Yay. She's walking up. Yay. Now suddenly I'm her. Okay. Kiss, bright. No, it won't let me type. That's it, I guess. 183 of 185. The monk declares you man and wife. It's not letting me type. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the fairy protective spell. Yay! And I have my crown back. Woohoo! You, if you have enjoyed this game, please ask your dealer about availability of... It's not letting me do anything. King's Quest 3, to air is human, to really foul things up, takes a computer. <laughs> that's funny. I think that's it. Thank you from the King's Quest development team. Ken, Roberta, Sol, Jeff, Chris, Scott, Doug, Mark, Al, Dale, and Emmo. Emo. Emo? Emo? Thank you for the King's Quest Quality Assurance Team. Larry, Susan, Russ, Bob, and Kim. It's not Lady. Thank you from the King's Quest Development Team. <laughs> Ken referred to Soul Jeff. Okay. I, th I think that's it. I think we're just going to keep reading these things over and over. Yeah? I guess this is the end. We don't get credits. 
Yay. That was pretty anticlimactic. End game. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Yay, I won. There's something I missed somewhere that's 183 of 185, but that's okay. Well, that was exciting. Thank you guys for joining us. That was awesome. We got through it. That's pretty cool. Um, well, I guess next time we're going to do King's Quest 3. I probably won't be a blonde that time. That's probably just for tonight. So, um, yeah, wish me luck this weekend. Uh, yay! <laughs> it's not a super like clear ending, but it seems to be the end. So, um, yeah. Uh, Rainy, thank you for joining me. I'm so glad that you found us. Hey! And, um, yeah, uh, you guys have an awesome night, and I will see you next time. Bye!